Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to another Small Land Update video, where today we're going to be jumping into two new posts that have come from the Small Lands development team on different things that are coming to the game of Small Land. Uh, the first one is a creature feature, a new uh, feature that they're going to be putting out every couple weeks that's going to be going over some of the creatures that are going to be, that you can interact with within Small Land. And the second thing is they had another FAQ Friday that has come out as well. Now, I am very happy to report that there is a closed beta that has been going on and yours truly has been invited and I have been able to play small land and all I can tell you guys is that it is an absolutely absolutely positively a game that you are going to want to keep excited for I have been absolutely sworn to secrecy and I cannot share anything that has to do with what I have seen how I have played or anything like that within the game so if you guys ask me I will have to say I am sorry but I cannot respond but let's hop into the creature feature and let's look at the creature feature number one the grasshopper uh, so first off we got this nice little graphic here for the grasshopper it says threat level low food chain low personality curious benefit mountable uh location any grassy area now before we go any further i want to point out that these notes are in the verse of one of these small folk that are in the back in, in the little foresty area that you're in and how their notes are taken for them to explain each one of the characters so it says the pathfinders of small land were tasked with going into the wide world above the ground and catalog the wildlife that they found they needed to study the creatures that inhabited the land to help their people navigate this enormous world the pathfinders have successfully found a variety of weird and wonderful creatures never before seen or heard of so we are going to share some of the exploration notes that the pathfinders wrote down on their travels here's the first journal entry on the grasshopper today i've studied the grasshopper or grasshopper uh, they are docile and inquisitive they seem reluctant to attack they need not fear the grasshopper uh, some of the sentinel guards have attempted to tame a grasshopper as once tamed the simple insects would transform into a mighty steed sailing through the air propelled by the grasshopper's powerful hind legs we could cover much more ground and avoid the various perils of the land of the small and here's another little picture of the grasshopper there we are uh, we have more of the pathfinder notes to share in the coming weeks let us know if the creatures you want to hear about uh join the small folk at the discord here and add to your wish list here so that is uh the cute the current uh creature feature number one on the grasshopper going forward let's talk about faq friday number three it says hey everyone we are back to dig in a little deeper into some more of our community questions thanks so much for all your questions and do keep them coming without further ado uh here's some questions and answers for you i like the little rhyme there is there going to be a buying and selling like in an in-game store is there going to be a player driven or sell or all set up uh, prior to launch buying and selling between players isn't planned for early access but could be something that we look into in the future we will have uh contextual rewards and ideally resource sharing uh as the benefits of working together or alone any more news on the pvp aspect not yet we have a big scope and are trying to get into early access so we are currently looking at a simplified system than a more dedicated pvp system which really suits small land this is this is especially because of the way that small land is designed to be pve uh, meaning you can also you could play solo or alongside friends and strangers uh, because of the scope and all the work related to pvp we are not sure if it will be in it'll be for or during the early access but we'll update you with the details as soon as we can uh, will there be a possibility of raiding different servers not at the minute uh, with a focus on pve and by the way if you don't know pve means player versus environment not player versus player aka it's player versus the game so that's what pve is uh, and setting everything up so lots of systems and uh and the content that we're planning for early access but this is what early access is for to see what players like the most and we'll do what we can to make everyone happy just keeping out for more great questions 
and we'll be back and forth with number four. So this is FAQ Friday number three. This was posted last week on Friday. Uh, fantastic update. Lots to go in the small line, guys. It is an absolutely fantastic game from all the screenshots that I have seen. And I will tell you guys, you really should be excited because all the information that they're sharing here and on their Discord should really get you guys excited for this game. It should be coming into early access an open beta. Everybody, sometime this year, they have promised 2021. Uh, they said mid to late 2021. So we don't really know exactly when. We have not gotten a date yet. They have not given any spoilers on a date yet. Just know that it is coming soon and that everybody will soon be able to get into small and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful time. It is a wonderful game and I hope you guys all hit the like button on this video. Leave me a comment down below of something that you're excited about with Small Land because so far I'm super pumped about it and I cannot wait to see what you guys think of it as well. So thank you guys as much and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.